Superdog. Supplementary Reading Material, Oxford Reading Tree. Series created by Roderick Hunt and Alex Brichter. Superdog. The Dog of the Year show was on television. I love the way the dogs run so quickly, said Mum. They seem to enjoy it too. They watched a dog called Peppa. She ran quickly and didn't make a mistake. I hope Peppa wins, said Chip. The next dog was called Raffles. Kipper liked him more than Peppa. I want Raffles to win, said Kipper. Look how fast he can run. Everyone was excited as Raffles came to the end. But he did not win, Peppa did. I knew Peppa would do it, shouted Biff. Floppy was asleep on the floor. Biff poked him with her toe. Wake up, Floppy, she said. Look at all these clever dogs on television. Why can't you do clever things like them? Floppy opened one eye, then he yawned and went back to sleep. The next day, Biff, Chip and Kipper went outside to play. Wilf and Wilma came round. Floppy was fast asleep on the grass. Did you see the Dog of the Year show on television? asked Biff. Yes, it was brilliant, said Wilma. I wonder if Floppy could do some of the things we saw on television, said Chip. Biff found a box. Come on, Floppy, she said. Let's see what you can do. Jump on this box. Floppy looked at the box. Oh no, I'm too old to do tricks, he thought. The children made a course for Floppy. It had all kinds of things for him to run round or jump over. We must give him a treat every time he does well, said Biff. That's the way to train a dog. Oh no, thought Floppy. I don't believe this. At first, Floppy did quite well. But he soon got tired and fed up. He didn't like the way the children shouted at him all at the same time. I don't want to be dog on the ye- of the year, he thought. I just want to be left alone. Oh, Floppy, you're hopeless, said Kipper. Wilma's mom came round she wanted to take everyone swimming. Kipper liked going swimming with Wilma's mom. She always buys us an ice cream, he said. Floppy was pleased too. He just wanted to find a quiet place to go to sleep. Floppy crept up to Biff's room. He knew Biff and Chip wouldn't be back for a long time. He was almost asleep when something made him open one eye. The magic key was glowing. Dogs don't have a magic adventure by themselves, do they? The magic began to work. Floppy was in a big city. The city was full of people and traffic. Everyone was busy. There was noise everywhere. Well, thought Floppy, so this is the big city. I've never seen so many people. And I've never seen such tall buildings. What a place. Floppy explored the city. He came to a steep hill. A tram took people up and down the hill. He had never seen buses like these before. A lady went past with two dogs. What funny dogs, thought Floppy. I've never seen dogs with coats on before. 
There was a pram outside a shop. In the pram was a baby. Suddenly the pram began to move. The baby's mother had forgotten to put the brake on. At first nobody saw the pram moving, but then it began to move faster and faster. Stop that pram! Someone shouted. The pram rolled out into the road. By now, it was going too fast for anyone to stop it. Oh no, screamed the mother. My baby will be killed. Do something, somebody. Floppy saw the pram running down the hill. This looks like a job for me, he thought. Floppy ran after the pram and grabbed it with his teeth. He stopped it just in time. Phew, that was a close thing, thought Floppy. Everyone came running up. Did you see what the dog did? shouted a man. He's a hero. He saved my baby, cried the mother. Everyone made a fuss of Floppy. Did you see that dog? people said. He stopped a runaway pram. He's a super dog, someone shouted. It was nothing, thought Floppy. Then suddenly he saw something else happening. A lady had put her handbag with her shopping. She was looking at the baby in the runaway pram. Suddenly, a thief grabbed the handbag and ran away with it. Help! shouted the lady. My handbag has gone. Another job for Superdog, thought Floppy. Floppy ran after the thief. The thief tried to get over a wall, but Floppy was too quick for him. He grabbed the man by his trousers and the man dropped the handbag. Got ya, growled Floppy. All right, all right, said the thief. I didn't mean to keep it anyway. People made a fuss of Floppy. This dog is a hero, someone shouted. He got my handbag back, said the old lady. I had all my money in it. This dog is really super dog, said the man. It was nothing, thought Floppy. A big ship was coming in. Floppy went to the dock to see it. There were lots of people watching the ship. Some of them were waving. The people were so excited that some of them went too close to the edge of the dock. Suddenly, Floppy saw something happen. A boy had fallen in the water. Everyone was cheering, so nobody saw the boy fall in. Another job for Superdog, thought Floppy. He jumped in the water and swam to the little boy. Oh no, shouted a man. It's my little boy. He is in the water. Don't worry, someone called. He'll be all right. Superdog will save him. Floppy held the boy's shirt in his teeth and pulled the boy out of the water. What a dog, said the man. He saved my son. Think nothing of it, thought Floppy. There was a story about Floppy in the newspaper. There were some pictures of him, too. Everyone wanted to read about Floppy, the hero. The newspapers said that Floppy was called Superdog. It's better than being called Floppy, thought Floppy. Everywhere Floppy went, people said, There's Superdog, there's a hero. When Floppy crossed the road, all the cars stopped to let him cross. It's Superdog, shouted the car drivers. Can we take you to anywhere? Do you need a lift? There were some mean dogs in the city. The meanest dog was called Fang. 
He went round with a dog called Hook and a dog called Snap. Fang, Hook and Snap met a lost dog. We don't like dogs who wear coats, growled Fang. What are you doing in our part of the town? Floppy saw what was happening. He walked up to Fang, Hook and Snap. I hope you are not being nasty to the lost dog. He said, er, no, of course not, super dog, said Fang. We were just offering to take him home. Don't worry, said Floppy. I'll take him. Some men were working on a tall building. It was dangerous working so high up. Suddenly, one of the men slipped and fell. He, he was on a girder and couldn't get off. The fire service raced to the rescue, but the ladders weren't long enough. We need to get a rope to him. But how? shouted one of the firemen. We cannot use a helicopter. A crowd of people stood in the street. Everyone looked up at the building. Someone will have to take the rope to him. But who? shouted a man. Another little job for me, thought Superdog. Floppy went to the rescue. He took the rope in his teeth. Then he went slowly along the girder to the man. Don't look down, Superdog, shouted the man. It's a long way to fall. Oh dear, thought Floppy. What am I doing in this adventure? I don't like being up here. The man grabbed the rope from Floppy. Thank you, Superdog, he called. You are a real hero. Everyone cheered. Suddenly, the magic key began to glow. It was time for Floppy's adventure to end. I cannot say I'm sorry, thought Floppy. Biff was cross when she found Floppy on her bed. You know, you must not sleep on the bed, she said. What a bad dog you are, Floppy. Floppy jumped off the bed and crept downstairs. I don't know, he thought. I'm a hero one minute and a bad dog the next. The children took Floppy outside. It's time to do the dog of the year course again, they said. Suddenly Floppy ran off. He jumped over the fence and ran away as fast as he could. Come back, you bad dog, shouted Chip. Floppy ran into the park and hid inside a giant pipe. They won't find me in here, he thought. I don't want to be the dog of the year. And I'm not super dog. I'm just me. I'm just a floppy old dog who wants a bit of peace. After reading, talk about why Floppy didn't want to be Dog of the Year or Super Dog. Would the children have still been cross with Pl Floppy if they had known what had happened in his magic adventure? And do you remember all the people? Floppy helped. Use the book to check. Okay, bye. Superdog. Floppy hates it when the children want him to be dog of the year. But in a magic adventure, he becomes a big hero. Hope you liked the video. Hope it helped. Thank you. Like, share and subscribe.